Hey guys, even here, and in today's video, we got some really interesting stuff. And I'll tell you right away, it's not just to check out the physiques of Derek Lansford, Nick Walker, and Samson Dauda. We got something, something much more spicy. Basically, Derek Lansford didn't know that his mic was alive, I guess. And I'm gonna show it to you guys right here in a moment. So, Mr. Olympia TV YouTube channel did another episode of Olympia Battle, in which we had uh, Nick Walker, Samson Daura, and Derek Lansford training and doing a little bit of posing. Nick Walker took his shirt off first. I guess he felt the most confident because he competed recently. And as you can see, Samson, you're gonna see in the video as well, he also looks really good. I thought he would look worse, because he's basically in his off-season, and he was off for quite a while, but now that he's on, he looks really shredded and full and big and round and everything, so he looks amazing as well. But Derek also looked pretty good, but for some reason, he didn't want to take his shirt off, and what he said when he kinda declined doing that was very interesting, I would say very disrespectful towards Nick and Samson, I would also say arrogant. You guys remember probably what Derek was like a couple of years ago when he was in 212, when he made a switch to the Open, he kinda changed, you know, his whole personality changed for some reason, and everybody was praising him for that, and he did come off humble, sort of, in his interviews, but after you hear this, I don't know if you're gonna feel that way about him. The live comment section also didn't like what Derek said. I don't think he was aware that his mic was live, because he was far behind Nick and Samson. They were training, the cameras were on them, uh, Derek was in the background, you couldn't see him. He thought nobody can hear him, but actually everybody heard what he had to say. And it wasn't nice, it wasn't very pleasant. I'm gonna play it for you guys right now, but pay attention to the titles, it's not exactly perfect. I turned it on because you can't really hear because he's whispering, but some of it was off. So let me play it to you guys, and uh, you guys listen carefully, and then we're gonna talk about it. So Tarek El Gindi tells Derek to take his shirt off, and this is his reply. I know, but you don't like that? The thing that, like, these guys are here bowing to third, and I'm here, or unless you want me to, I will, but... I thought it was better. Feeling good, man. And then look at Samson. Samson, if you're scared to take off your shirt, that's fine. Nick and I will have fun. Hold on. I mean, the reason for not doing it is because we just... I was thinking marketing in my head, thinking about doing it, because we just did it at the Pittsburgh Pro, where, like... No. I don't know what you thought, but I thought it was... Oh, it was a good showing for myself compared to these guys. So we just did that a couple weeks ago. We're in the yeah. gym. It's different lighting, different kind of thing right. to where it, it brings it closer in in terms of, like, the look. So it's like, look, you guys already saw, or you guys already know. No. Derek, I need to pick up your shirt. All right. All right. I'll do it. You know me. I'm a team player. You guys do so much for me. I mean, come on. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to say no to you guys really? Where's the best lighting? Hey, where's the best lighting in here? Do you know? Whoa, 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 did you guys hear that? That was, wow, I don't know what to say. Eventually, yeah, he took his shirt off. And what he said is basically, from the marketing perspective, as I am your Mr. Olympia, maybe I won't look as good next to these guys under this lighting. At the Pittsburgh Pro, I looked great compared to them, but now it's different lighting and I don't know, maybe I didn't take some things to look better, to look drier, you know what I mean? And he didn't want to look worse, but he says they are battling for third, like they are out of my league. They are not good enough to be standing next to me and posing in the gym. <laughs> That's what he said, and it does come off as arrogant. I, I don't want to say it's confident. He's obviously not confident because he's afraid to take his shirt off. And he thinks the other guys, the other two guys are beneath him. And also he says, if you guys want me to, I will do it because all the things you do for me. What did that mean? all the things you do for me, like, let me win even though I'm not deserving the win at the Mr. Olympia? Was that it? What exactly is Mr. Olympia doing for him? I thought he won the title because he deserved it. He is doing more things for them than they are for him. I guess you would assume so, but no, there is apparently something more, or we have a case of brown nosing, you know? Derek was not comfortable doing this, but if they tell him to do it, then he's like, of course I'm gonna do it, if you want me to do it. So, I mean, yeah, I'm just saying it as it is. I mean, I used to say that Derek deserved to win the Mr. Olympia title. He was not gifted that victory. 
Hadi was not robbed, and I still kind of believe that, but after hearing this, I mean, I just don't like the way Derek spoke about these guys. It was kind of disrespectful. When he's doing the interviews, he's always like super politically correct, but yeah, I guess he's just preparing himself to give us the right answers. However, behind the camera, it seems to be a whole different situation. So all these guys took their shirts off, however, Derek put it back on quickly. And the other guys didn't like that, especially Samson. So they had a comment on this. Let me play it for you. Right after Derek, Samson took his shirt off, did his set, and then he posed with Nick. And Derek moved in the back and put another shirt on. And Samson was surprised by what Derek did, and you know he didn't like it. So he says this. <laughs> What the hell? Dude, I thought you wanted to do us. He put his stuff back on. What the hell? Whoops. Whoops. That's all I got to say. This is really the Olympia battle. I'm just here to have fun. This is really the Olympia battle for third place. He's, he's talking a lot. Hey, hey hold on, hold on. Stop. They keep talking about Nick being third place. He he Samson got third last year, so... All I'm saying is this is a battle for third Yeah, race. but you won't be first this year. <laughs> with, the way, with the way I'm seeing you train, you won't be first this year. Haha, <laughs> so Samson says that Derek got scared when he saw Samson, when he took his shirt off and he put his shirt back on. And I agree, I agree completely, that's exactly what happened. And I mean, sure, I have nothing against that. I mean, yeah, he showed lack of confidence, but it's okay, he probably didn't prepare himself to do a posing. Uh, during this video, and he didn't like, uh, you know, showing off his physique when it's not ready, he prepared for the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, and as he says, he did look good compared to these guys, but now it's a different story, Samson is back on, Samson is not off anymore, and Nick also competed once, so Nick is also looking better. He was happy with what he did at Pittsburgh Pro, he didn't want to leave the last impression to be the comparison from here when these guys are looking better and he's not peaked, you know, he didn't do anything to prepare. So I understand that, I, I get it, I don't have a problem with that. I do have a problem, however, with him uh, putting these guys down, basically disrespecting them, saying that they are bound for third, you know, they're battling for third, instead of respecting them as also top three guys. Who can beat him on any given day? Derek is not unbeatable. I mean, he won Mr. Olympia once, and yeah, he played second the year before, and sure, he still is the favorite. Actually, right now, for me personally, Hadi is the favorite, but yeah, Derek is definitely in the top. I mean, he's doing all the correct things politically, so he's not gonna go down the way Big Ramy went down. He's gonna be in the top for sure, but is he gonna win the Mr. Olympia easily again? Are these guys capable of defeating him, Samson and Nick? Sure, sure, I mean, I don't know about Nick because of his midsection, but if he learns how to control it, and he did at the recent guest posing, he controlled it much better. Actually, finally, we got some footage, I'm gonna show it to you in a moment, but, you know, Samson, man, Samson kept progressing year after, actually, season after season, so I'm expecting a big improvement from Samson, even for this year's Mr. Olympia, I don't know how conditioned he will be, but if he is decently conditioned with more muscle, I think he can definitely beat Derek, and Derek knows that, so of course he's afraid. Let me show you. And once again, I was really honestly surprised that uh, Samson looked this good at this point in prep. I mean, 18 freaking weeks out, guys. Especially considering that he was off for two months, and he just started again. And he's freaking humongous, he's 320 right now. Being this big, this massive, this huge, with this kind of conditioning at 18 weeks out, you know, he's definitely a danger to Derek. And let me show you Samson's back as well. Samson was kinda known for having a weak back, but look at it right here as he's walking. I'm getting Ronnie Coleman vibes. He looks even better than Nick Walker right here. His back looks deeper. I mean, look at the freaking traps, the lats as well. Everything is just so bubbly popping out, something between Ronnie Coleman and Phil Heath, if he nails the conditioning, guys, if this freaking monster right here nails the conditioning, Derek knows what's gonna happen, Derek knows he has no chance against this freaking monster, aesthetic monster, by the way, I mean, yeah, it's a big if, I know, but I mean, look at the freaking back right here, damn, he is freaking 
humongous. And I'm sure he looks better than Derek right now. Even though they're both in the offseason, Samson looks better in the offseason. You know, Derek can nail the conditioning from behind and he can win the Mr. Olympia based on that. But, you know, as far as who is bigger, <laughs> Samson is far bigger. I believe Derek right now is like 250. Samson has like 70 pounds on him. So he's definitely the most impressive guy, the, the best body, the biggest and the best body in today's modern bodybuilding. It's all about the conditioning. We all know that, but now we kind of can see it. We can see how big he actually is. And as far as Nick, you saw him compared to Derek, but let's check out this video once again of his guest posing. I think his abdominal control is already better. I think he realized how bad it was at the New York Pro, and he started practicing posing a little bit more, and I think you can see a drastic improvement, actually, in waist control, and I think it's gonna be a far better at a Mr. Olympia compared to the New York Pro. And with all this muscle, if that is in control, then I don't know, man. I think Nick still has a chance of being one of the top guys. Look at the waist right here. It definitely wasn't this tight at the New York Pro, most definitely. And check it out when he does the front double right here. Look at the vacuum. Is this a vacuum? I mean, it's it's a vacuum of a sort for Nick Walker. He's He's obviously trying to pull it in. And if he keeps practicing this vacuum enough, maybe he won't do a deep vacuum like Derek, but even if his stomach is flat, it doesn't even need to be sucked in, even if it's just flat in all the poses, that's probably good enough. Sure, he can change the size of the waist and like the overall uh, size of the midsection, it's taking a lot of space, I know, but if his gut is not hanging out, he still has a good chance to win the Mr. Olympia. If he's super conditioned, he also wasn't that conditioned at the New York Pro. If he gets more crispy and controls his midsection better, he's definitely a threat. And Derek knows that. He says that these guys are battling for third, but really, they're also battling for first as well. It's not just Hardy and Derek show. Four guys, in my opinion, four guys can win the Mr. Olympia title this year. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. You tell me in the comment section down below, how did you take this stuff that Derek said uh, behind, let's say behind Nixon, Samson's back, and when he thought nobody can hear him? Am I wrong? Did I perceive this differently? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more content about bodybuilding like this, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, and bye-bye.